Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric. <sighs> this is the end of chapter 7. In the last episode we got to the top of Amberal Tower, the final of the tetracyclic towers. We fought Ren. Twice. First we fought Ren herself and secondly we fought the Pater Mater. Ren uh, talked to Estelle a bit. She seemed quite untouched. She seemed, well, quite terrifying, actually. But as Joshua said, she got so agitated uh, that um, Estelle talked to her in the way she did, that it seems like she, she actually managed to reach Ren. But in the end, we couldn't stop the seal from breaking. The second barrier has been broken down and we saw the true form of the Oriole now. The Flying City. When it was drawn into reality, out of its the dimension it was sealed into, the orbital absorption symptom happened globally pretty much, all across liberally, uh, all ac across liberal and maybe even farther. The Arsay was affected, and hopefully made, we made it down in time, but for some, ex for some reason the Crimson Arc actually wasn't affected by the symptom. Let's see what happens now. Goodness! W what is that thing? It's huge! Ridiculously huge! That thing must be more than 5,000 arch across! It's like a gigantic floating island! No, look closely. The base is artificial. It's more a floating city than an island. A, a city? Well, we can't just sit here. Alright guys, listen up! We're getting onto that flying city island. What? Seriously? Of course I'm serious. I've never been more serious. Serious. If those society fools have brought that thing back, then think. It must be full of incredible treasure. Enough to pay our debts ten times over. Y you've got to be kidding me. We can't just go waltzing into something that huge. Josette, back me up here. Um, hmm... Honestly, at this point, I bet there are things on that city I want, too. Look, like beyond treasure. Oh, why'd you save me? K Kyle does have a point, though. Things have been weird all day, so we should probably be careful. I mean, for starters, the radio's been silent for ages. That is true. Guild and army transmission are one thing, but even the civilian channels are dead, which is... Huh? What? A wave of light? Get! What happened? Report! Boss, big problem! The generators and flight engines have cut off, have cut out, all of them! What? Wait, that means... We're really in trouble now. The flight field from the engines is dissipating. The Bobcat's not answering her helm at all, either. You're kidding! You mean we can't do anything? Hmm. There's only one thing we can do at this point. What? What? Pray to Ideos that it's not our time to be called to heaven. Oh, crap! Rawr! Chapter 8. Land of Chaos. City of Ruin. City of Size Central Factory. <laughs> hmm. 
Milk Main Road. Valeria Lake. Mm, so that's what the light show at the towers was about. But you kids pulled off a genuine miracle this time. Let me give you your reward first. I just know you've earned it. Tetracyclic Towers. 9 BP, 10,000 Mira. Still, what madness we've fallen into. I never thought being deprived of orbments would throw us into such chaos. No kidding. Sort of makes you realize just how dependent we've become on orbital power. It's true. Communication, transportation, defense, production. Every single major function of society is effectively paralyzed at this point. For most people, I think the real worry will be the lights in, in, and the kitchen. From the sounds of it, the city was really in a tizzy last night. That's being kind about it. People were mobbing the guildhouse, the orbital workshop, the mayor's mansion, and all demanding answers. It was awful. Everyone wanted to know what had happened, and I had no answers to give. Frenzied fools frantically kept me up all night. <sighs> I feel... I see. Sorry, Lugren. With a floating city on top of all this, this crap's getting dire. Feels like we're one step away from a friggin' panic. Well, the people of Liberal love peace, so I don't personally expect a riot. Immediately. Should the situation continue for too long, however, people may begin to lose hope. Yes, we must do something about this, and quickly. So then, everyone, what's this plan you said Russell has to bring back the... D what's this plan you said Russell has to bring back the dead, turn water to ambrosia, and save us all? Bring back the dead? Well... Professor Russell's come up with a new invention that isn't too far off. This, everyone, is my latest invention. The Zero Field Generator. Zero Field what now? Put simply, you are aware of the special warp field the Gospels produce, yes? This is a circuit which produces a field to nullify that warp via resonance way. That does not qualify as simple under any definition. If I understand correctly then, Professor, this can actually pr reserve the orbital shutdown phenomenon? Whoa, what? Is that true, Professor? Prevented more specifically, but just so. Ultimately, the shutdown phenomenon is just orbital energy being absorbed by the Gospels. Where the energy went was a mystery, but having come this far, I think we finally have an answer. To the floating city. To the Oriole. It is the only answer which makes sense. The Oriole uses the little holes between dimensions generated by devices, which we call Gospels, to cause the phenomenon. Gospels are all things considered small holes to the area affected, was th but so the area affected was thankfully minor. With your all made manifest once again, however, the area has grown immensely, enough to engulf the entirety of Liberal and even beyond our borders, I'd imagine. All of Liberal. So that's what's causing causing all this. Yes, I find it likely that every orbit in the country, without exception, has stopped working. However, however, this zero field generator can stop the interference of the aureole, which is to say, put it next to an orbment and that orbment will work just fine. Wow! Professor, that's amazing. So we're f so we fire that thing up and everything's cool then? Um, not quite, I'm afraid. The area this prototype can protect is limited. It can shield at most an orbment you could carry in two hands. That small? Uh. Well, hell, that kind of limits what we can do, doesn't it? The other problem is, I only have so many of them. Even a favor for Cassius. Even as a favor for Cassius, I could only put 16 of them together. 16? That's actually a lot of anything. Wait, Dad asked you for these? Yes, he requested that I work on these a while back, actually. I scarcely even imagined a crisis of this scale at the, at the time, but it seems he did. I... uh, I see. Just as I'd expect from Cassius, always seeing further than any other man. That being the case, though, 
pretty clear how we should use these things, I think. Ah, you're a sharp one, father. Uh, I don't quite follow. So, in a crisis like this, the thing you need more than anything else is, is fast, accurate con communication. Whether it's about the society throwing bears at people or where goods need to be taken. If you can't communicate, you're up, uh, you're up a creek. Meaning? They should, use, uh, they should be used to restore communication devices all over Liberal. Is that about the size of it? Bingo! That is a good idea. Hmm, for the military not being able to use our guns and, or airships is dire. Not having communications between headquarters and our force, forces is even more serious, however. We should restore communications between Grenzel, Castle and the Haken Gate, and at least the fortress ASAP. The guild's the same boat. The guild's in the same boat in, that, in a way. If the branches can't get in touch, it'll be hard to mount any response to anything that might happen. Mm, sounds if they, if they if we are all in agreement, then. Well then, Captain Schwartz, I'll provide ten zero field generators to the Royal Army. That should give you enough to cover the Arsail, the capital, the gate, least the fortress, and all regional posts. You have my thanks, Professor. I'll order my men to distribute them immediately. And the remaining six go to the Bracer Guild. That should be enough to restore the phone in each guild branch. We'll get right to uh, we'll get right on it. We'll see them safely there. What? You can get the phone working? That would be that would be a great help. Please set up that zero or whatever it was right away. No problem. Tita, would you do the honors? Sure, give me just a second. Tita opened the lid of, to the phone and put the zero field generator inside. Okay. Done. It's all set to go. That was uh, kind of faster than I thought it would be. Hey, all you really need to do is put it, put it in the right spot inside the phone. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Tita flipped the switch on the phone. Oh! You did it. Hmm, <laughs> looks like it really does let orbital devices work. Um, so next I need to test to see if, if, if the phone will actually connect. I'll try calling Grandpa. He's on the RC, which should have a working phone. Tita dialed the phone number. Hello? Ah, Grandpa! Yeah, it's me. I'm at the guild house in Bose right now. Yeah, it's okay. It works great. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I will. Do your best too, Grandpa. Hey, I think I'm. it's connected, okay? No kidding. Professor Russell saved us again, it seems. I'll have to drown Russell in beer and steak next time I see him. Speaking of thanks, Russell seems to be aboard the Arceo still, but... Where did the princess and that churchman get off to? Oh, they both headed to Grantsall at dawn with Captain Schwartz. Chloe said she wanted to talk to the Queen and Kevin said something about the Archbishop, I think. I see. I imagine the royal family and the church have their own crisis to deal with right now. The good news is they agreed to deliver a zero field generator to the Capital Guildhouse for us. I would expect to get a call from Elnan at some point. Excellent coordination with him will be help, will help. You lot are off to the remaining guild houses, I take it. Yep, that's the plan. What I'd really like to deal with is that floating city, but wouldn't we all? It seems like our society friends are already there too. We can't lay a damn damn finger on them without with our airships grounded. Pfft, a real heroic spot to be in, huh? Hmm. There is little point in flogging ourselves over it. Right now we must focus on what we can what can be done. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get to it. Please form your party. You may choose two other members aside from the mandatory members. Tita and a gate. Or Zane. Who's the better tank? Ah, I'm fine with with Zane. Uh, 
Okay, obviously airship travels right out of this, so we'll be walking. That's why I didn't, didn't take a gate with me. You know how he loves his airships. Where should we f go first? Roland or Ruin? Hmm, neither choice is r better than the other, really. All of the guild houses need working phones, so all we can do is pick a direction and go. Good point. Joshua has the right of it, I think. No matter where we go, people are likely to need our help regardless. I hope we can help all the people in trouble. Yeah, okay then. During the shutdown phenomenon, only characters equipped with a zero field generator can use orbital arts. Equip a generator in the accessory slot to use it. Furthermore, as Tita uses an orbital cannon, she cannot act in any way other than movement or her gunpowder-powered cannon impulse S-craft without a generator. How many do I have? Four. I don't need that um, um, talisman. You... Don't really need that. You don't really need that. And I don't really need to use any arts on him. You don't really need the cat thingy. Um, you take gladiator head. Oh, I've got the Eisenritter medal back. That probably means I've got my orbits. I've got a mine five then. Yep, sapphire gem. Thanks, Chloe. Cast two. Evade four. You still have your shield five, yeah? Death blow action. Heaven's eye hit four. Movement three. Mm hmm. Earth. So this is where. Zeptim Vein goes. Petrify, you take your defense four. If I put... I can't use that anyway, so might as well make it action. I only have action three, huh? You take luck, we're traveling normally. You take action three, you also take attack four. I have ingenuity free then. Shield four, absorb. No, never mind that. Do, 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 do. Move would be good on you. EP cut doesn't do much. Hit four. What else can I put on him? HP, yin and yang, haze and heal. Makes sense. Makes sense. No, actually, I'm just gonna put heal on him. Estelle? Wait for is what I put here. What does Ingenuity have? Two times blue, five times fire, two times dark. Hmm. I want Ingenuity, but do I really need that? We're gonna get Chloe back, I'm pretty confident, so I'm not gonna equip the Ingenuity, I don't think. We have access to 600 EP, I don't think that's useful. I think the Evade is much more useful. Oh, but nobody has real global healing spells, don't they? You only have the Sapphire Gem. What do I need for... What do I need for Litiara and the such and the like? Litiaral. I need space. That's what I'm missing in that line. I need this EP cut to be over there. I need wind and that to be over there. Hmm. Do, do, do. 
I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove this quartz. I'm gonna remove this quartz. I'm gonna put absorb here. I hope this doesn't bite me. Um, I'm gonna put a tag five here. Oh, come on. And I'm going to put EP cut four here. That should. Clock down. Blue arts, fire. Hmm. These two space really make that kind of difference, huh? Was kind of afraid of that, wasn't I? EP4. P4 has such good values as well, I couldn't possibly trade that away. And if I take away action 4, I'm missing the dark. Now what's more important to me? Abyss, uh, Abyss Fall and Death Scream? Oh, Abyss Fall I can't cast because I took the wind out of it and Death Scream I can't cast because I'm missing... I don't have 10 space, is that right? Oh no, Abyss Fall? I can cast Abyss Fall? Wait a minute. Death Scream. Oh, that's the all attack. I don't, didn't use White Jahan on Abyss Fall anyways. Ah, it's just because the wind is out of that line. Death Scream, I'm fine with that. I've been using either the area all attack or none of them. Or a uh, tier 4 fire. Now I have access to tier 4 blue and to the real good heals here. And Lecuria as well. Which is nice. Okay, I think I'm fine with that. What did I really change in the end? I gave her the... No. Uh, nothing. I could have had that from the beginning. Okay, Um, you have... I can't do much about that, can I? You want the cast, you want the movement 3. Do you really need the movement 3? I could put that on Zane. Heal. Ah, that's what I was thinking about. Why do I have heal on him? Why would I not put yin and yang on him? Because I don't need it. What would I need yin and yang on him for? Do, 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 do. There's also nothing left to optimize on Tita. Alrighty. 16 zero field generators in total and you gave four to my party. Pretty kind. Sapphire talisman, I don't really need that. You might as well. Do, 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 do. Doom, doom, do, 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 do. This music is something else. Oh wait, now with Chloe gone, you are my caster. Which means, yeah, plus 100 arts? Pretty neat. Pretty neato burrito. Takes away a lot. That's only plus 80 arts, all things considered. But then again, plus 80 arts is not half bad, is it? That is for girls only, is it? Do the slippers? Women only. Tita wouldn't need that. I'm gonna put them on Estelle because they are like one of my 
most powerful. That ups it to almost 700 as well. But that lowers your defense quite a bit. Means I'm going to put a stealth right in the back now. Also lowers your speed. But that makes you into the caster. Um, tactics. Battle position. Adjust that. Boo do 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 zane. No equipment. You have grail locket. Yeah, our head staff, that's fine. That's also more than just fine. There are three star rabbits, Misty Veil. That's an upgrade for ya. Don't care about the movement minus. These are real good. Your arts defense is mental. Well, <laughs> Sapphire Talisman. Don't need that zero field generator. Prevent seal and mute. That might just be enough. I think that's about done. So, what do you have in terms of quests? Two, Crone Pass Monster. Dangerous monster Red Fang has been sighted on the Crone Trail. Bracers affiliated with this branch asked to respond immediately to this threat. Islands of Note has extremely strong direct attacks. Check armor thoroughly. New Anzal Path monster. Reports indicate the Archaism Doom has appeared on the new Anzal Path. Bracers affiliated with this branch are asked to respond immediately to this threat. Items of note details unknown. Reports suggest long range combat abilities. Okay. I'll leave distributing Russell's generators to you. Remember, one, one each to the Roll and Ruin and Size branch. Be careful, you lot. Ah, ha, 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 ha. We're gonna have to, you know, give those away. Ah, yeah, right. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about keeping them. So, you people. The market's finally lost all its energy. I guess everyone really is worried about the future. Damn it, I really wish I could help people at times like these, especially, but... But you can still produce ice cream. Yep, you can. Making Castella cake takes fresh eggs and milk. You can't skimp if you want the best. If I continue to be unable to get stock and I won't be able to keep the stand running. Uh, what am I supposed to do? The lady who runs the confectionery shop doesn't seem to have her normal energy. Well, given the situation we're in, I think that's true of everyone, but... But still, what's that damn fiancé of hers doing? It's the job of a spouse to support the other at a time like this, ain't it? Jeez, maybe I should go lecture him when I, while I do my shopping. I don't I, I don't care if my distribution stopped or whatnot. I'll be opening this job last, just like always. It's at, a t at times like this, you got to give people some courage. If it's come down to this, then maybe I'll sh I should sell that new issue I've been keeping safe. New issue. Hey, welcome. Minuet's well, but the whole market's a bit down in the dump. Dumps. After all, just as everyone's recovered, now distribution's totally frozen. It's not surprising they'd get depressed. No one really knows why the doors of the fountains have st suddenly stopped working. It sounds just... it sounds like... What the heck is going on in this city? Well, we'll talk to Mayor Maybell in a second. Huh? What's going on? Why are all, we, all these people looking up? I see. So that's it. Ah! You can see the city, the city from here. 
The floating city? It's so huge! Wah! It's overwhelming seeing it from down here. It is easy to see why the citizenry is so terrified. It falls to us to do what we can to allevi alleviate their fears. Yeah. Let's... Yes, let's hurry. I mean, what is that? And why have all the orbits stopped working? Oh, what's going on? I don't understand. From here you can clearly see that island floating in the sky. The moment it appeared, the lights all across the city went out. Just as we were reporting, recovering from the dragon's assault too. What will happen to our Bose, I wonder? Oh, Bracer friends, at a, at a moment we and Bose are facing a terrible danger. Please give any aid you can to Miss Ma Mistress Mabel and our city. Thank you for the other day. Miss Mabel is currently as busy as humanly possible. Please, if you can aid her in some way, I would ask you to do so. Hello again, Estelle, and... Oh, hello, Joshua. Hi, Mabel. It's been a while. It has indeed. You two look busy again. No kidding, I heard it's been really hard on you too though, Mabel. Lugren was telling us about it. I was a little worried when I heard some citizens broke in. <sighs> yes, I had to, had to spend the better part of the evening talking them down and even then I only barely got them to return home. I didn't really do anything to actually assure their fears though. I couldn't. Even I'm half scared out of my wits. If this keeps up, I'm afraid there will be another uprising, a much more violent one. It could happen, yes. So long as the real problem remains unresolved, people will be on edge and looking for someone to blame. Right now, though, we just need to do what we can. Staring at, at the floor and fretting won't solve anything. Mm, as you say, do your best and le let heaven decide the rest. All we can do is continue our duty as bracers. I feel pretty much the same way about being a mayor. No matter how dark and hopeless the situation might may seem, a mayor must remain her, with her city and protect it. Of course, I believe you will resolve things in the end, up mind. <laughs> well, no pressure there. We'll take those as words of encouragement. You should. So, where to first? Should we head to Roland? Or should we head toward Ruin? We have two quests, two monster quests. I think we'll um, take care of both of those first. But this has been long enough. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye bye.